All right, so today is Thursday, April 25th, 2019. I'm here at Indian Creek Greenway. I was gonna go to this place called Diddle Landing, but I'm gonna save that for tomorrow. We're actually expecting some rain here. I think it's supposed to start at two. So since this place is closer, I just decided to come here. So I'm gonna go ahead and explore this place, fish the places I haven't fished yet, and see what happens. All right, so yesterday when I was at Walmart, I got some more jig heads finally, which have apparently all spilled out of my backpack. That's great. But I uh, also got uh, these two packs of uh, grubs. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this green colored. Let's see if I have any luck on this. Jig heads, man. All right. So there's this little ledge over there, looks like a little drop off I'm standing above. So that's from a target, but this is how that bait looks all rigged up. Hopefully it's not too large. So it's been a minute since I fished here. So hopefully I can catch something. I'm interested to see what's all in here. So I switched out to a 132nd ounce jig head. So it was gonna be small taps. But now I'm having trouble with this. There we go. Oh, finally, what do we got here? Coarse, red breast, first fish of the day. All right, so finally got the first fish of the day. Ended up having to downsize. I kept getting these little taps. So once I downsized, I was able to catch a red breast sunfish. Let's get him back in the water. All right guys, so I've been here about a little bit over an hour now. I've only managed to catch that, catch that one red breast sunfish. I'm gonna fish under this bridge right here, probably for about 30 minutes, if, and then I'm gonna keep heading down and exploring. I thought that now that the water levels had settled, maybe this creek would be a little bit more forgiving when fishing, but that's turning out not to be the case. But that's turning out not to be the case. All right guys, so the time is 11.59, so just about 12 on the dot. I've been getting my butt kicked today, so I'm gonna try switching out a few more times, but I mean, this just might be a bad day for fishing. I'm not gonna give up. The latest I can stay is for another hour and a half. I'm gonna give it my all, man. It's rough going. Well, now there's a barbed wire fence. I don't know how far this goes down. <sighs> well. I kind of want to leave, you know, like it's been three hours. I've had two fish break off. There are two small pan fish. And other than that, I'm not really having much success. But since I'm here, I'm going to walk down this trail and see how far it goes. Might as well explore. I can't catch fish. Just explore. Gosh. All right, so I was finally able to catch the second fish of the day. Another, another bluegill, so definitely a bigger size. Go ahead and get the hook out, let him go. He completely engulfed that hook though. Get the pliers and get it out. All right guys, so I just found this beautiful area to fish. I've never actually walked this far back on this trail and I'm glad I did. I'm glad that I ended up walking this far today. There's this whole little area where these two creeks join and then it flows going down this path over here. 
but I'm gonna hit the, I'm gonna hit this area where these uh, creeks combine. I felt a few drops of water. Hopefully, it doesn't start raining on me. I got quite a ways to walk back. I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing this grub for a bit before I leave. Well, just my luck, man. Just one of those days, it just started raining. I can't let my camera gear get wet other than my GoPro, so I'm probably gonna have to take off for the day. It's been a tough one, man. Uh, well, tight line, guys, and hopefully the next time I see you, I'll be having a lot more luck. Take care.